What's going on guys? It's a beautiful day today right here in Harrison, Tennessee, and I'm getting ready to take all of you throughout this brand new crawl space encapsulation that we just finished up. And it was just a handful of weeks ago that I had my man Gerard Tui all the way over from Ireland, and he wanted to go see inside some of these crawl spaces with me. And when we got up here to this crawl space door that I'm standing in front of right now, as soon as I opened this door up, he goes, oh Tanner, you're on your own. I'm not going inside there. And he left me hanging. He got up here on his front porch and began whistling. And he whistled the whole time that I was here. So I went inside here and did this complete inspection by myself. And guys, you are not going to believe these before pictures. God, it was a freaking mess. Take a look at all of them right now. I like to start each inspection I do at the crawl space door. I take photos of it before I go in and as I come out of each crawl space, it's really the only way I can tell the houses apart. Take a look at all of the falling down insulation. Take a look at the bottom of the foundation and how wet it is. No moisture barrier whatsoever, guys. And whenever that insulation collects enough moisture, it gets heavy enough that it just falls out from between the joists that it was installed into. And now we're on the back side of the house. Look at how wet that ground is, guys. We had to get the water out of here and stop it from rotting these floors. The floors were sagging throughout the house. He said when he was walking down the hallways, guys, the pictures were shaking on the walls. So we had to correct it. We had to get the moisture under control. We had to strengthen up the floors. We had to get that old insulation out of there. We had to add new insulation, French drains, sump pumps, discharge lines, lights, encapsulation, guys, the works, you name it. It's getting ready to happen. Sit back, prepare to be blown away. Here we go. Can you believe that? I told you it was a mess, didn't I? And what you're getting ready to see, guys, we had to pull all of that old insulation. We had to go back with our R19 poly-encapsulated insulation, and it looks magnificent. I've already seen it. And, guys, we had to do repairs to underneath the floors where they've been having a lot of shaking. He said he'd walk through the floors, and the pictures would shake on the walls. So we've gotten all that fixed. We had to pour new footers, and I'm going to show every bit of it to you right now. And before we get started, take a look at that brand-new crawl space entry door done by none other than my man Tito Rivera, the master carpenter, guys. If you've seen our pre previous deck build you already know if you want perfection contact us we can take care of any carpentry needs that you may need all right let's get these doors unlatched and get inside here and take a peek and you already know guys as soon as you crawl inside any of our projects you just look right overhead here flip the switch and baby you got lights throughout this entire crawl space man this looks awesome Take a good close look guys, what you are all looking at is a 20 mil fiberglass reinforced poly encapsulated crawl space. Wow, take a look at this and as soon as we get up there to those repairs, I'm going to show you all of that in detail. But first, take a look at this big trench that you see right here, right here along this front wall of this crawl space. This trench goes around this entire crawl space and it contains over 10 thousand pounds of drainage gravel along with our perforated pipe with drainage sock around that with our drainage fabric wrapped all the way around that and that french drain line guys just like in all of our projects that need it it goes all the way around the entire crawl space just like i told you making its way all the way back around here to the lowest point inside this entire crawl space right here at our sump pump basin. And down inside here, you can see our sump pump and it has already gotten most all the water out of here except for what little bit is left in the very bottom. That water comes right up out of that basin and goes outside the home to our pop-up drain emitter, which goes away from the house so that it is no longer a problem inside this crawl space. And you may have noticed inside the before pictures all of the old insulation that was falling down from within this crawl space. And now if you look overhead, you will see our R19 poly encapsulated John Mansville Comfort Therm insulation that we have been installing since 2008. And guys, 
If you want to talk about really making a difference inside the living quarters of your house and you are actually considering insulating your crawl space, if anyone tells you to do anything other than what you are seeing us do within these videos, then feel free to go ahead and blow all of your money because if they're telling you to put foam board on these walls, blow your money. If they're telling you to pull this insulation out of your floors, blow your money. If they're telling you you need to do anything contrary to what you're seeing repeatedly over and over and over in all of our videos go ahead and blow your friggin money okay guys we are making our way up here to the repair area now and underneath here you will see a couple of new boards that we had to replace where some of these joists were completely rotten and i want you to make note over here how to do this the proper way do you see how we had to build the brace underneath this so you see how this brand new beam here is supported here and if you look all the way over here against the wall look how it goes atop the box seal area right there now in a lot of situations inside crawl spaces especially when people go in here and scab these boards they will literally hold a board up here in place against this board and just shoot nails in it it won't even be meeting over there and it will not be supported over there at that girder point neither and guys if that is the case you may as well not have had any work at all done and then once you get these joists in place and everything repaired that needed to be repaired with the joist, you can then focus on strengthening up the structure itself, which is what you're seeing right here with our three different two by tens that we built to make the support underneath these jacks right here. These are all eight inches thick, 16 inches long, eight inches wide, all brand new concrete poured footers done by none other than the crawl space artists themselves drew tito nick and brian and guys once you get this new girder built if you ever in your lives see a carpenter that has taken the time to put these supports off to the left and to the right let me tell you all something if you don't know it by recognizing it you got a real carpenter on your hands. You got somebody that takes pride in their work. You got somebody that cares about their reputation. And you got somebody that you can be proud of that you paid the money to come under here and do whatever service that you was paying that person to do. Because that right there, when it comes to repairs in a crawl space, I promise every single one of you watching, it don't get no better, baby. You can take that to the bank. Just look at how bright this crawl space is, guys. Who do you see on the entire internet lighting them up like you see us lighting them up? Let me go ahead and tell you. Nobody, that's who. And I always got to thank my father-in-law, William Austin, for all of our wiring and electrical needs. Guys, like I was just saying about those joists that we had to replace, look, on any one of them that you see, we've got that all the way over there on top of that box seal area. And if I was to peek right under here, you will notice on every single one of them that you look at, the brace work that you see underneath. Wow, great job team. Great job guys. I am very proud of how all this turned out. Thank you all for doing such great work. There is not a team of people that exist that I could count on with the confidence that I have to go out here and bid these jobs where I know wholeheartedly that these customers are contacting me for absolute perfection than the team of guys that we have right now, right here at Tennessee Technicians. Guys, give yourselves a hand. Give yourself a round of applause. You all deserve it. And I appreciate every single one of you very, very much. And if I haven't already bragged on this repair work enough, Take a good close look at all the nails going down through there. Take a look at the lag bolts and look right under here. Look where that plate is mounted up in there with all four of our screws and washers. And look right down here at the base where we poured these brand new concrete footers. Look where every single one is secured and anchored into each footer all the way down through there in every single one of them. So guys, if you're calling me, you got to compare apples to apples. Don't be comparing apples to a pile of crap that the neighbor's dog left in your front yard this morning. If you're calling us, if you're calling me up, I know what you're looking for, and by God, that's what you're going to get. Just take a look at the tops of the walls, guys. Who edges the freaking walls like that? Look at the piers. It looks like Christmas present, Christmas present, Christmas present. Come on, just call us Santa Claus, baby. We can bring Christmas to your house, too. You got problems inside your crawl space? Visit us online at crawlspaceartist.com and spend all the time that you want watching the world's largest 
crawl space encapsulation video library god almighty take a look at that perfection that you're going to find in the entire world that's no sales gimmick that's no false claiming those are just facts guys largest in the world right here you're listening to us tennessee technicians baby been doing it a long time and not only do i want you to be focusing on the top of the walls as we go around this crawl space look at the plumbing penetrations guys and right over here to my left right now right in front of me this is one of our humidistat fans there are three of these on this project and what these are these are the exhausts for this entire project and they take air from within this crawl space and send it outside the home and by doing so that will eliminate any stagnant air or pressurized air that this system creates by being sealed up the way that it is going to give you guys a quick pan shot here making our way down towards that side of the crawl space now and right over here to our left you will see one of our famous santa fe advanced dehumidifier systems and guys these systems are taking air from within this crawl space putting it right down here inside this condensate pump where it then pumps it up over down inside that p-trap where it goes outside of this home where it is no longer a problem inside this crawl space and they don't have to worry about any of this wood becoming more rotten like it was on its way to becoming just a few short weeks ago i was just talking about those christmas presents guys and i wasn't joking they've got 11 piers total inside this crawl space and look at how every single one of those piers turned out on this project nothing aggravates me more guys than when i'm inspecting a crawl space and atop this duct line that you see here somebody didn't put the insulation inside there but you won't never see that on any of our projects because we don't miss a single row and all these hard to get to places it's insulated just like you see everything else inside here okay guys making our way back up to this side of the house now you will see our third and final humidistat fan on this project and right over here to my left you're going to see a Lowe's bucket that we left here yesterday and a little bit of dirt on the floor. And this is simply where there was a plumbing leak up here inside this copper line. And the plumbers came over here yesterday and they got all this fixed. So I'm going to be taking this bucket back with me now. Do not see any more water right here. Like I said, that was leaking right there at that point. Take a good close look, guys. Any of you homeowners that are considering getting this work done, why in the world should you choose to go with us well don't unless you want perfection like what you're seeing right now and if this is not what you want don't bother calling me there's plenty of joe blows out there looking for enough beer money to get them through the weekend that will be more than willing to take your money look how freaking perfect that is right over there at that air conditioner return my god almighty you guys remember all those gaps around those entries right there in the before photos see there's pieces of metal cut right here to fit over all of that open area and now look how good it looks once we finish up wow as soon as i crawl under this guys we'll be back over here at the crawl entry and we'll wrap this video up <clears throat> guys if you haven't done so already please be sure to smash that subscribe button go ahead and drop me a like as well and feel free to leave me a comment. I do my absolute best to answer each and every comment left on this channel. Even if you're a little crybaby doing your best to aggravate me. And I promise you, you ain't going to have too much luck with that. Because I know we're the best. You know we're the best if you've watched this video to this point. And I don't need to keep on saying it. But in case you didn't already know, we're the best. So here we go, guys. One last and final pan shot of this entire crawl space. Check it out. Once again... 100% encapsulated with 20 mil fiberglass reinforced poly, three humidistat fans, the big Santa Fe advanced dehumidifier system, a full inside perimeter French drain system, all leading to our basin, which is our lowest point inside this entire crawl space, which contains the sump pump that sends that water up and out that line and all the way outside this home to a pop-up emitter out there in the yard so guys i appreciate each and every single one of you coming along with me on this project right here i hope you've all enjoyed it i hope i taught some of you something maybe you learned something and maybe it's going to prevent you from wasting your money with some crook that's looking to yank every penny out of your pocket that they can get their hands on so guys if you want the best just like always since 2005 when i started it guys tennessee technicians for crawl space work visit us online at crawlspaceartist.com 
Artist is plural. For all of your nuisance wildlife work, visit us online at clevelandtnwildliferemoval.com. For any of your stump grinding needs, guys, clevelandtnstumpgrinding.com. If you need any tree work done, guys, just hit me up on my cell phone, 423-503-0512. What kind of idiot gives his phone out on YouTube? I do, guys, because I ain't playing. If you want the work done, give me a call. If you're looking to just play around, don't even bother dialing my number because if you want me to come to your house you're going to pay that $250 consultation fee that everybody else pays and it does go 100% towards your project and if you don't want to pay that and you say I ain't paying nobody to come out here and look at my stuff then guess what you ain't going to get me and I could care less how you feel about that if you don't like it don't dial my number and if you want me baby you can get me be sure to subscribe drop me a like and guys we'll talk to each and every single one of you in that next video adios man that looks good on to the next one.